All right, so let's talk about Zillow today. And, and I'm gonna start here on Finviz because my charts are kind of ugly with it because I drew the support and resistance for the chart and I don't wanna quite remove it yet. So let's go ahead and look at Finviz so we can have a nice clean chart so we can see what's happening. Now we're talking about Zillow. And man, the stock market is so, it's such a good time to be buying stocks right now. There's still a lot of fear in the market. The market is ripped. A lot of people don't believe the rally. But um, I do. I do. <laughs> because I'm just looking at a lot of the stocks and what they're doing. And they all are doing this bullish thing. It doesn't matter what stock I go. Well, it, it can matter a little bit. But there's a lot of stocks out there that's just really showing the change in direction, the breakthrough in the uptrend, the breakthrough from the downtrend going into an uptrend and then the new higher lows and higher highs. And Zillow was kind of one of them. So let's look, uh, you look, you don't gotta be a technical analyst to look at this chart and say, hey, hey, where's Zillow going? Where, where do you think this is going over the next? And by the way, I'm not talking about day trading or swing trade. I'm talking about something to put in your portfolio to start dollar cost averaging for higher prices later. This is a low, right? Look at what's happening. Look at, look at right there, right? It's, 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 it reached damn near all time lows. And then now we're starting to come off of those lows. You don't have to be a genius to look at this and say, hey, yeah, looks like we're kind of going up. Maybe the worst is over. So that's what we're looking at with Zillow right now. Now, there's something that bothers me with where we are now, and I'll show you later on, but let's just talk about some of the bullish stuff. Now, let's get to my charts. I like looking at my charts. All right, so I got the same chart up here with my favorite uh, volume, I got the stochastic, and I, in this one I drew some support and resistance lines, and I got the monthly chart up. And I like long term. I usually go monthly, weekly. Then I look at the daily. I, I damn near never look at anything under the daily, like the four hours and the minutes and all that stuff. Unless you're maybe timing a entry. You know you want to get in today, but you want the best price today. But now nah, we, we're kind of looking long term. So we've seen Vin, Finviz, and we've seen how it. It look, yeah, it looks like a bottom and it's finally flattened out and turned into the upside. What we have on my chart is the stochastic that is confirming that, right? You got the, it's pointing straight up, almost straight up, and it's got that split. I really more excited about the fast line and the slow line split more than the necessary going up, but I like them both. I like when they in sync. I like when they in sync like that. You had moves like here that could have faked you out. You know, say, yeah, yeah, we, we're kind of doing it. But you don't have that stochastic doing what it's doing now, coming out the oversold area and pointing straight up. These are kind of already, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's in the chop zone. Here it's not. This is going to be a nice, clean move. So this is the monthly. And let me zoom in on what, well, no, 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 I don't need to zoom in. We can zoom in with the daily. We'll go to the daily now. All right, so you can see what's happening. You can see that down move, right? The downtrend and the downtrend basically stopped. Back to the monthly. <laughs> Let's draw that downtrend, okay? All right, I want you to see that on the line. I'm not gonna hit that top one right there. We're gonna go like that, right? So I have this touch, if I can draw, I have this touch, I have this touch, and I have this touch. You know, if I went here, it's kind of more steeper even though that's a good one too. And you can see how it broke here and then it just went sideways when it broke here. So look, we broke both possible downtrends. All right, so let's go back to that weekly. See what we can see on the weekly. No, the daily, my bad. <laughs> All right, so you can see we broke those downtrend lines. And also here is a low. This is a couple of things I want you to look at this. So here is the low, right? And then right here is the higher low this was a sign to get in right i i love seeing especially the break of the downtrend and i love seeing it come back down and not making a new low right so we didn't necessarily make a new high from over here but we made a higher low but then we made a higher high now uh, uh uptrend is in it's in effect we got volume now all right, so let's go to the weekly and you can see we're struggling right here on the the next resistance level this is natural. It's going to pull back today, I believe. What is it? Uh, it, uh, it closed at 47.90, and now it looks like it's going to open about 47.18, 47.20. This is all natural right here. It, it's supposed to. That's why this line is drawn. We're going to pull back. 
right? It's gonna it's gonna be a little struggle to get through this one. Look what happened here, right? It hit, pull back, hit, pull back, hit. And you gotta think about support resistance when you're trying to go through trend lines. Just think of it as a battering ram. The more times you see it kind of knock on the door, right? You're trying to bust the door down. Eventually it does. And then they, they said, hey, let's really move back and get that momentum. And look, it just went right through. Generally three times is it. And the fourth time it's going through generally. So, no, so you look right here. Now you got the hit here, right? You have the hit here and we possibly could have another hit. We can have a move down to here and just like we did over here and kind of go back up. We'll finally get through this level of resistance. So that's that. Now let's go to the weekly. All right, now I'm gonna zoom in here so we can really see what's going on. So I'm gonna have to move the charts. All right, so we got the low, we got the higher low, and you can see my little knocks on the next level of resistance. And I think we go through. Now, the one thing that this is the new uptrend, right? So you can see we are overextended for a while. So I don't see, basically I do see it pulling back to touch, to tag this line again. It doesn't have to come straight down. It could kind of struggle and go sideways until it hit this line, maybe here. And then it goes up. You can see the same thing happen here. It looks like we was gonna break through. Here's your trend line. And then we kind of came all the way back to tag it right and then boom off to the races so i think we're gonna have something similar we could either kind of chop a little sideways until we hit it or maybe we come down a little bit more steeper and hit it we don't want to break this level of support though this is key so i think we stay in this range maybe tag it somewhere over here and then off to the race now that's just one scenario it could open up today and it could it could blow through at any point and then we can actually start a secondary primary trend line uh like that but just remember this is the primary right now so anyway so um there's there's a lot of different scenarios but i'm liking i'm liking all of them i mean zillow it, it, this is what makes me say wow it, you know i i'm really kind of bullish on the market i don't care what's going on this only because of what the stocks say i'm not listening i know what's happening in the news just not listening to it. I'm just looking at what these stocks are doing and where people are putting their money, right? So look at the volume even. We just have the volume on all the up moves. It, it, it's really, it really, really looks good. Now, let me show you what looks bad. <laughs> I said I was gonna show you. This looks bad. So this is Finviz. And by the way, Finviz, and this is Zillow. And just to kind of freshen you up on Zillow, if you're gonna do a real estate transaction, you are you know, you're probably gonna find yourself on a Zillow site. You're probably gonna come across it. They own Zillow Rentals, Trulia, Street Easy, Zillow Closing Services, Hot Pads, Out East, and do other things, right? So let's scroll down here. And then you can see just a couple of days ago, all these senior executives, president, the chief financial officer. Now he knows the numbers, chief technology officer. I mean, these guys are selling, you know, no one believes in the company. <laughs> no one's saying, hey man, this is a good price. I think I'm gonna start buying some Zillow. Right, these guys has been selling and selling for a long time, but and they just had a recent batch of sales just two days ago. So that's what kind of concerns me a little bit. I, I would like to see this selling, this insider selling stop. Be nice to see a green line in here with someone trying to buy it. But nevertheless, this is what the chart says. All right, and the chart says buy, buy, buy. All right, man, this is Zillow, and, and I and, and just let me know what you think. Do you wanna trade Zillow? Do you need to be a technical analyst to look at that chart and say, hmm, Zillow's going higher. Remember, this is the monthly. This is the one that the, the long term, you get you take out that volatility looking at the monthly. You go to the daily, you're all chopped up. You don't know what the stock's gonna do. Definitely looks overextended right there, right? But we talked about that. We talked about it and you know, one of the things I like about Finviz, it does draw your lines for you, right? On the daily, so you got that line and you got the trend right here. And I talked about it coming off, off of this trend down here to tag it before we go higher. So just keep that in mind. Tell me if you like Zillow, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this. Like, comment, subscribe, bell, you know the drill. And I'm Dre Trades, thanks for watching, I'm out.